what is going on youtube welcome back to another video guys we are back with another grove token update because today was supposedly the big day and honestly guys there again quite a few red flags okay now uh, in this video we're going to go over what exactly was announced uh why there may be some problems with it why the price completely just dumped after uh and why there's a lot of things that are still wrong with grove token now again i want to quickly say make a disclaimer and say guys i'm by no means trying to you know talk shit or I guess make anyone lose money this is simply just factual information okay so you guys can take this information and do whatever you want with it you guys can think for yourselves it's basically just for me to shine some light on some certain dark areas in this project okay so if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe guys uh, hit the like button in the comments down below let me know what you guys think about grove token is this a scam is this a rug is this a safe moon 3.0 what is going on here let me know what you guys think is this the next moonshot so Let's take a look at uh, what exactly happened here. So there was an insane tank in the price. And in previous videos, guys, I talked about the issues with growth tokens liquidity, right? One of the main problems was that there wasn't enough liquidity for growth token so that if there was even a tiny bit of selling pressure, there would be an insane amount of, I guess, price movement, right? Because there's no liquidity. And a lot of people, some people were commenting uh, on my uh, last video as well. And they're saying they couldn't sell. And that's probably due to the fact that there was no liquidity for them to sell. And when there's no liquidity, there's literally nothing to be done, right? So I mean, also shout out to everyone who commented on the last video as well. I read through all of them, applied to a bunch as well. So shout out to you. Uh, but I also want to say, guys, so we saw a massive tank down over here, uh, all the way down to about like 12, right? So we can see the, the, the first you see all the zeros right there and you can see there's like uh one three nine five we we crashed pretty freaking hard uh, and almost very nearly could have erased a zero which would have been terrible uh but it seemed to have i guess rebounded and that is because of a buyback uh, i believe a buyback or something like that so we're gonna talk about that in a bit as well but here was the insane announcement okay so this was announced uh and we can see there is this is allegedly a press release which interesting uh but we can see they have allegedly secured a 25 million dollar us investment commitment from gem okay gem digital limited right now so if you guys go and do some research into a gem uh digital you can see there's a lot of weird things going on so i'm not going to sit here and make some 100 percent claims but i want to share some rumors and things that are going on okay and again no one can i guess really confirm or deny these unless there's proper evidence uh but regardless these are very i guess interesting red flags that we need to pay attention to right you can't just ignore red flags right when that comes for investments relationships whatever that may be so basically guys the whole, the whole thing was apparently this company says that they're going to invest a bunch of money into a project right and that will be their big investment like their big announcement that's like their whole thing it's like oh we're gonna do this blah 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 and what happens is they work with other projects to basically inflate the price and pump up the price with these you know major news releases and then after that they just dump on their holders so this is something that happens 100 percent. this happens in the crypto world you know people always pump and dump shit but is this what's going on with gem digital i do not know and we can see guys basically they're saying that you know this is going to go uh some benefits will be you know uh investments into staffing and marketing which is pretty cool um this one i, I thought was pretty stupid it said acceleration of growth keeper wallet the first green wallet which what does that even mean a uh, wallet allows investors to buy and sell using grove tokens with minimal transaction costs and higher returns and rewards that just sounds so stupid like what does that even mean how is this wallet gonna allow people to have higher transaction uh sorry minimal transaction costs but higher returns and rewards it, it doesn't make sense to me um hopefully we'll, we'll you know figure that out uh, as time goes on right and then they pretty much just talk about like you know other things like additional funding for marketing blah 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 whatever this that whatever uh so here's what's wrong with uh gem okay so shout out to uh, papa rug again uh he actually posted my last video shout out to you sir if you actually watch the videos uh but gem digital digital right apparently this website's like bs uh, i was able to connect to it and guys <laughs> hmm <laughs> what do we think here does this look like a website for a company that is investing you know millions of dollars <clears throat> into these projects what do you guys genuinely think right let's be real like this isn't hard to make at all like i'm pretty like and like anyone can make this right you can go on wordpress and make some shit like this uh, i then wanted to see their portfolio right and here's where things get even weirder to actually view the portfolio you have to submit your name last name and email now i didn't go ahead and do this just because i was like i was just like what the heck this just seems weird whoops oh uh, we missed it but it just it just seemed kind of weird to me and i was like okay this isn't this isn't right okay and it's it's just very interesting to see what's going on with this website um you guys can go through and play around with this and see like you know like what is this uh the partners like all this stuff all their 
documents and stuff but it's just very very sus okay so like i said if you guys want to go look into this and go through and look at it i'm not saying that this announcement is fake but what i'm saying is we've we know that there's a lot going on right like for example the partnership with the uh dubai royal family like like a lot of weird weird things like we need to see these people talk about Grove Token, right? Like, for example, if I was to partner with you guys, right? Let's just say, for example, you own a business and I decide to partner with you, right? If you were the one who said, oh, Radice, like, um, let's make a partnership, and you posted about it, I would equally want to post about it too because it's a partnership, right? We're shaking hands. It's two people, right? We're two people to be partners. Now, which is very weird saying that so far all of this is one-sided. Now, is this a one-sided relationship? I don't know. But like I said, it is quite weird to see what's going on. Now, guys, it doesn't get, it doesn't stop right there, okay? So it gets even worse. So we all know that there is supposed to be a, a whale, uh, anti-whale anti mechanism, some shit like that, right? And the max you could sell was 10 trillion tokens. Someone ended up selling 12 trillion tokens today and to make things even better someone actually uh, sold i believe it's about 40 41 trillion tokens you can see it right here this transaction and guys the problem is again when you are when you when people are dumping this amount of tokens the price will absolutely tank okay that's just the truth and we can see this is when this is at like 13 um because we spoke about that we almost erased the zero it, it's not looking good and john did then go on to say hey there was an error implementing the adjustment of the anti world system to 10 trillion tokens we've seen your concerns and we apologize sincerely for the confusion um yada yada, yada. so one thing i i will pretty i will say that i guess props to the team over there is they did i guess allegedly fix this pretty quickly um now there is damage that has been done that I guess isn't really irreversible, but they did actually fix it and they didn't just let this linger for a long time. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's nice to say they're proactive. Now, again, me personally, I'm not saying don't buy this. I'm not saying buy this and hold. I'm saying, hey, if you bought this and you're in profits, take your profits. Uh, I said that in my first grow video as well, which you guys really liked as well. So I don't know, guys. It's, it's very interesting to see what's happening. Um, now, this project is, you know, in, I guess, some very shaky waters, but Hopefully, we can see some sort of rebound if you guys are actually invested in this. Uh, me, personally, I don't own any of this token, um, but it is quite interesting to see because it is reminding me of early safe moon days. Now, guys, if you did enjoy this video, I want you to leave a like. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about today's shenanigans. Um, tomorrow, I have another video coming out. It's actually a different token, uh, not Grove, not Luna, something new to the channel. So, guys, stay tuned for that. Uh, and until next time, guys, remember, stay seeking success.